Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Unleash the power of WooCommerce with this comprehensive guide on using WooCommerce API. From retrieving product data to processing orders programmatically. This tutorial provides a hands-on approach to help you leverage the full potential of WooCommerce API capabilities. So let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you get the full information. Well, guys, before we get to explain about the how to use the API of WooCommerce, let's talk first about APIs and what is an API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It is basically a set of rules and protocols that allows one software application to interact with another. For example, we've made dozens of videos about or explaining the integration of a software X with software Y. So basically this process is used by an API key that allows us to integrate both of these applications. It defines the method and data formats that applications can use to communicate with each other. So basically APIs are used to enable the integration of different software systems, allowing them to work together and share data seamlessly. So here WooCommerce have already made like a whole uh, article about how to use WooCommerce APIs. The API that WooCommerce has is basically the REST API. So the whole article in here is basically explaining how you can use this API and how to get the most of it. So now guys, as you can see right in front of you, this is the requirements that you get first, that you have to have first uh, before you actually get into this video. So the first thing is to actually have a WordPress permalinks must be set to something that is easily human readable at settings and permalinks. So here I am on my WordPress website, go to settings and here you will normally find permalinks in the bottom. So for me, I should have something that is basically simple than that. So for now I have like the URL is basically not a domain name, it is basically a local host because I have hosted this website on my PC. So it is localhost slash WordPress slash 2024 slash uh, the date, etc. and then the name of the post. This is not as easy for human being to read. So what I would want to choose is basically uh, like a post name or a custom structure. For example, here we can simply change this post name to whatever we want as post ID, category, author, year or whatever thing you would like to have. So this is the first thing to do is to change it from one of these hard to get, hard to understand permalinks into an easier link that we could use by ourselves. This is the first thing. Now, the second thing is to generate API keys. Now, to generate the API keys, you have to get the WooCommerce plugin installed on your WordPress website. Now, usually I would have not explained that to you because I would assume that you already have it, but I will explain it very well, very easily. So what you have to do is to simply head up to add plugins right through here, as you can see, and click on this add new plugin, click on upload plugin, choose file and upload the WooCommerce plugin into your WooCommerce or WordPress website. Very easy, nothing to worry about, just straight forward. Now, the second thing is to generate the API. So simply what you will have to do is the WooCommerce REST API works on a key system on a control axis. These keys are linked to WordPress users on your website. To create and manage keys for a specific WordPress user, this is what you will have to do. Go to WooCommerce plugin on your WordPress website, then head up to the settings, advanced, and then click on REST API. Note, keys slash apps was found at WooCommerce settings API slash keys slash apps prior to WooCommerce 3.4. Select add key 
you are taken to the key detail screen where you will have the description, user and permission. At the description, select the user you would like to generate a key for in the drop down and then select a level of access for the API key. It has read access, write access or both read slash write access. So the user can, for example, that you will give them this API can either read so they can only read the article or they can only write, for example, an article on your WordPress website or like write a description for your product on WooCommerce or they can do both. They can actually read, like see the, uh, the product and at the same time uh, write the product. And finally, click on select uh, or select the generate API key button and then and the WooCommerce creates API keys for that user that you want. Then this is how it's going to look like. Make sure to copy the, key, the API keys and give them to that specific user that you want them to actually own this permission. Now you have to test if the API key is working. So basically all you need to do is to go and head up to advanced so WooCommerce settings advanced go to the legacy API and take the enable the legacy rest API because if that wasn't enabled well basically the API key is disabled even if you have created it even if it is ready to be used it is basically disabled unless you enable it so you have to actually do that for your own uh, self just head up to the WooCommerce settings, advanced, legacy API, and then you will have this API key ready. Now, what are the uses of this API key? As I said, for this WooCommerce plugin. So basically, we talked at the beginning, the API is basically a tool that will help us to interact uh, or to integrate uh, like two different applications together. Well, this is basically the same for WooCommerce. Using this API key, we can simply head up to our WordPress website and connect it with another shop. It could be any other application that you have in mind. It could be Etsy, it could be like Wix, it can be anything that has a partnership or like a uh, like uh, a permission to be actually uh, uh, to be added as WooCommerce API integration. You go to the list that uh, that that's WooCommerce has, and you can read it. Check if the application that you desire is in that list, and after that you can simply head up to that specific application, create an account in it, and then integrate it with your own WooCommerce website, which is your WordPress website. It is as easy as that. Very simple. Very straightforward. So guys, that was it for today's video. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.